Good morning. Welcome to Fact to Some Life. I'm out in the garage in our 2011 Grand Caravan, and I haven't made a video about this van in a while because it's been, for the most part, pretty reliable. We have roughly 231,000 miles on this van at this discussion. I had changed the oil at 226,100 miles. I used Pennzoil Ultra for the first time in this van. I was curious to see if it would have any sort of uh, change or bearing on an oil consumption problem that is starting to develop and get worse. So when I initially bought this van back when it had 72,000 miles on it, the oil consumption was virtually non-existent. I would change the oil every 7,500 miles. The van drove, for the most part, 95% of its mileage was on the highway. I did use Mobile One oil um, for a majority of the life of the van. Um, in the last couple of years, I did switch to Kirkland synthetic oil, which is, I believe, made by Warren. Warren Oil out of Omaha. As we are getting up in the mileage now, the oil consumption has started to increase. And uh, first it was, you know, I was having to add a quart every 6,000 miles. Then it, you know, slowly started working down. With the Pennzoil Ultra, and I'm not really blaming the oil here. I think this is more of our equipment, but I went 4,000 miles and I had to add a quart of oil. What my theory is today, we're going to do a very highly unscientific test on this vehicle. And that is going to be utilizing Restore and Protect up to 100% deposit removal with active clean technology. With the high mileage on this engine, there is inevitably, there's going to be carbon deposits built up on the ringlands of the oil control it's going to lead to oil consumption just simply based on age now there's going to be somebody in the comment section that's going to be saying well if you had changed your oil every 3,000 miles you wouldn't have this problem and what i'm saying is that this is not a sludging problem this is a high mileage typical engine problem so we're not necessarily dealing with where we're dealing with the aftermath of oil, fuel, burning, carbon. That's what we're dealing with, with the 231,000 mile engine. Going forward today, I am going to be, we're gonna do a six quart oil change with filter using the Valvoline Restore and Protect. I'm going to use this up until the point of having to add another quart. So if I have to add a quart at 4,000 miles, then that is going to be when we change the oil again. If this oil makes it to 5,000, then we'll do it at 5,000. If the oil makes it to, for whatever reason, makes it to 7,500, then I will change the oil at 7,500. A look at the oil. All right, so. This has had one quart of oil added to it about a thousand miles ago. Um, and we can see here, nice and golden brown. Again, that, that oil now has 5,000 miles on it. And it's pretty clean. Got clean metal down there. So it's not like this engine is sludged up or um, hasn't been maintained I'm confident that that's you know not the issue that we're dealing with here and you can kind of see the evidence of that in the hole nice and clean not stained okay so that is our the beginning of our test let's go ahead and change the oil Okay, so this is what 230,000 miles looks like on the Chrysler Pentastar. 
You see? No oil leaks. And that's why I that's why I like Chrysler products, because generally you don't end up with oil leaks. One note with the uh, oil consumption that I just discussed around December, um, I did replace the uh, PCV valve. Um, this is not a Mopar, this is an aftermarket right here. Made virtually no difference that I could tell right here. Replace that PCV valve. Okay, so as you can see here, we got it pretty clean. This is the highly unscientific part where um, next time I uh, change oil, we'll, we'll see how uh, this looks. 